Welcome back to episode 13 of the long dark. Good thing we've restored the well-fed bonus. The bad thing here in Pleasant Valley is I left my bedroll in the cave on the summit of Timberwolf Mountain. How did I stumble across this? Well, I was going to take a nap right here on the floor while we were out and about. It was a little bit dark. I thought, nah, why I go upstairs? I'm just going to sleep right here on the floor where it's easier. And I realized I don't have my bedroll. And I had to look back through the footage to find where the heck I left that dang thing. And we left it on the summit of Timberwolf Mountain. And that put me in a dilemma. So, we could go back and search for the bedroll. Or, we can act like we never had a bedroll, and we can continue on towards Mystery Lake. Now, I've got coffee. I've got things to, like, keep us awake and what have you, but... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in myself for that oversight. But anyways, uh, today was I had planned on it being a travel day because we've gone through most of our cattail stock um, storage, I guess you can call it. We have so much gear to carry on the way back to Mystery Lake. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is you can obviously hear it's a freaking storm outside uh which also bums me out is you know pleasant valley is incredibly cold uh when it gets cold so we're gonna have to wait for this to like die down uh because we can't restore our condition from here until on the path that i plan on taking until we reach the the hydro dam even past the hydro dam i've got to go all the way to the trailers where we uh treated storage treated as a storage so that's the plan today guys um i think i've cured all the deer hides this one's at 96 i'm actually gonna leave that one and maybe we can get that to like i'm not sure when the storm's gonna end uh wolf pelts cured so rabbit pelts two three four and five these ones are curing I think all the bird saplings cured while we were here. But so these are ready to be stored and turned into arrows. Arrow shafts. Most of these. Okay, maybe not most. Some of these have cured. And I don't really need to pick these things up. This one's cured. Okay, these ones are green, so that's a ton of those as well. Oh my gosh, and we are so slow at 53. I think what I'm going to do is probably just start offloading things we don't need. But that's why I picked everything up. I wanted to see, like, what we could, like, realistically carry. Because uh, we're going to have to pick up, like, cattail stocks and stuff on the way, too. So, uh, we might return and go get that bedroll at some point. So, I'm just going to make a nice little stack here of things that we don't currently need, but we would love to have. And that's going to include books. You know, especially with the weather around here, Pleasant Valley is a great place for reading. I just walk out to that car a lot of times. Okay. Uh, water is pretty good. Honestly, we don't need this much cloth. I'm not going to sort all this. Come on. Uh, let's move a little bit. I do want to take the thermoses. Sticks will burn down pretty easy. These are pretty dang heavy, honestly. Uh, sewing primer, that's kind of a bummer. How many books around here that we're unfortunately not going to get the chance to take with us?
Oh, we can harvest this right quick. It looks like I got an extra can opener. Where was that guy at? There he is. We'll drop the 46 percenter. We've got a set of tools right there that we can fix this up if we need to. Crampons are good. Oh, something else I had stumbled upon was I don't have to take out all of the liquid that's in your thermos. You just have to put... Uh, I noticed it when I put like two hot liquids in with six other hot liquids and the rest of them got hot. So uh, I'm going to try that again and just test that theory a little, a little more and make sure like what the exact number is. So, okay, we can walk a bit faster here. Could really use a moose satchel. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is, is sleep again. Just right quick, like maybe an hour or two. Because we've got a long way to go at this like slow walking pace and we can't climb ropes. Hopefully this sleep, uh, we can sleep right through this storm or the wind blowing. There we go. Love that. Okay, weight's gonna go down as we drink more water and as we start some fires. Uh, because we are leaving and I'm gonna leave these here, but I'm gonna take the stuff that's curing and we'll throw those down when we get somewhere. Um, I probably don't need this many sticks. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, on the dang menu. Okay, let's drop, honestly, like so many of these. That way we've got a nice little deal happening here. Okay, so I started drinking the coffee. I guess that's not the worst thing ever. I'm hoping we come across... We should come across at least a handful of cattails on our journey. But uh, yesterday was one of the days I was like trying to just keep my condition up. I went out and got two rabbits, which I actually got from the other side over there. I harvested that deer that was in the like outbuilding, like one of these buildings. Um, and it, it got foggy, which was pretty dang cool. I had never seen like what it looks like when it's getting dark and it's really foggy. So that was pretty cool. Not going to lie. Okay, so I didn't want to start a fire right off the bat uh, just because I've come out like midday like this and it was actually warm, but it looks like it's pretty cold. So I'm going to stop here in the barn. We're going to start a short fire and I am going to get our thermoses full of hot liquid so we don't take much condition damage on our journey. We got to pay attention to the bear over here. We're not going to be able to climb the rope, so we're going to walk up the hill and make our way to the cave system that will bring us to the ravine. I'm going to test this theory out uh, right here. We'll, we'll be able to do it right away. Oh, nice. Little log there. I think I got like 80 something uh, matches and got a handful of those. Cat tail head stick. So the first big hurdle is going to be getting back to our storage at the trailers, which, you know. We hope it's a lot of stuff, but uh, I can't remember exactly what I stored there. Oh, I got to take this out. Duh. Um, but if it's any, if it's much heavier than a lot of the crap that we have now. 
Uh, we're going to be like slow going. That's Birch Bark. Just pulled that out. And we'll just try one of these, right? We'll place it. I know I could place it on the ground, but... Those. One of those. And let's just see... Oh, I put the uh, reclaimed wood in. I mean, I'm going to have to bring that now. Okay, let's see. Look at that. It heats all of them up. And then I can put a cold one in. Now I got a hot one. Ready to drink. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do birch bark. Uh, that's fine. You can see I got a little bit still left there. That's... Yeah, that makes it a whole lot easier. See those turn hot? Oh, the, yeah. There they go. That is pretty cool. Damn, I kind of wasted this fire barrel, didn't I? Guess we'll just um, pull the good torches and run a torch all the way to Mystery Lake. tree that was creaking right there it sounded like a growl at first oh i'm trying not to dwell on the fact that the bedroll but i mean we know where it's at so there's a silver lining here um but now yeah, i I make the mistakes. I am definitely not the epic player that a lot of people who upload content on the YouTube for the long dark are. I'm not that guy. Hopefully this isn't a moment where we look back and we're just highly disappointed in ourselves and say, oh, I should have just made the decision to go back and get that bedroll. But there's also, you know, the reason I made this decision is because I've had uh, playthroughs where I've had three bedrolls. And now I know at least four places that we're going to come across that have a possibility for a bedroll. Okay, so this is, we're encumbered, we're slow, and we're going to try and walk up this steep hill instead of climbing that rope, which is where? Somewhere over here. There it is. Yeah. Now there's a possibility of... I want to also turn this to here. Possibility of spraining uh, all of our limbs. I'm not going to heal up until we get to the top here. Hopefully the crampons come in and help us out with this. I'm going to have to remember if it's two sprained wrists, I can't equip a rock. And if I get the second sprained wrist, I will heal that immediately. And we'll go through bandages like crazy. Um, to make sure that we have one hand free to be able to deter any wolves who try to bum rush us. Okay, what do we got? One wrist. There we go. We're starting to flatten out here. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Ooh, thank you for reminding me. That was a whole point of staying an extra two days 
in Pleasant Valley. We didn't really move. We just kind of went around and scavenged the things that were around. I didn't think that we'd tear through as many cattail stalks as we did. Okay, so just going to make sure we got a fresh torch here. You guys see what I saw. That was a wolf lurking. Uh, he's in our path, so... Oh my gosh. The wind is picking up. I'm going to stay close to this wall. I would like to trigger this wolf sooner than later. Okay. And I hope to scare him off in that direction. Okay, warming up bonus. This will take care of our pain, too. Come on. Wait, is this cold? That's cold. I'm confused right now. Jesus, this is cold. It's cold. Let me drink that hot tea. They're... What the heck? They instantly turn cold when you bring them out. So maybe that doesn't work. Um, I got so many flares, so if this goes out, I'm going to equip a flare. What a bummer. Okay, do not go out. Let me get some... A bad feeling. Yep, there it goes. Pull out one of eight flares here. Marine flares aren't awesome as far as their durability. So, uh, the plan to not take condition damage is failed, but. We're making decent time here. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Okay, the ravine should give us some cattails, so we can pick up on that. We'll also head towards the lake. And that also has cattails. Will we have enough to sustain us for the journey? I hope so. That guy was stuck for a second. If I had a bow, that would have been a a nice, like, quick shot. If you recall in Season 1, when we were up by Miner's Folly, that bear that was kind of glitched into that wall, that would have been another easy bear pelt. By another, you know what I'm saying. Another example is what I mean of an easy bow shot.
use this crappy one. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no... There's not going to be a rope climb. In this cave. Worried me for a second. This looks fun. I'm gonna put a fire down so we can torch it, eat our firewood, so we can um, cook it right away. Come on, little fire. Okay, so it's gonna be a uh, one kilo and uh point two Man. go all the way to the bottom here can't wait to put some of that stuff down and no we're not gonna harvest the hide or anything Those all in the sweet spot. Pretty sure I don't have anything to cook. I mean, besides little things, I meant like a maybe tomato soup or peaches. It's 19 minutes on that. Let's just do it. Nice. Cool. Need to replenish that anyways. Oh my gosh. And of course there's like an abundance of coal. make it harder for us to walk. Okay, that way's up. This way's out.
I really just want to get to Trapper's Cabin where we're going to unload so much stuff. Um, maybe even Camp Office. Then we can move fairly quickly. Uh, we still have got the musk egg. That's going to be like one of our major stops. Broken railroad. And then like broken railroads, typically the end of like the oh, mountain town. Uh, but Broken Railroad is typically the end of, like, where I, like, need to explore before I start settling down. Um, you know, like, for some weird reason, I, I just feel like that's the end of the road. And then we'll come back and regroup and then head out to do other things. And that's, of course, if you even survive it. So we're approaching the 28-day mark that we uh, ended at on our Season 1. I never remember. Look at that. There we go. I was hoping I'd look down this way and see cattails. That's the end of that road. That there was. It's not very cold here. I was immediately going to have, have that birch bark tea. Uh, a dual benefit there. Warming up and restoring the condition as we walk. But... You can see, like, we're going in and out of warm to just a little cold. There's the warm spot. So it's, like, out of the wind. We have coal. I don't need to pick up so many sticks. love to see that okay down at the base of the dam here we'll have sometimes a wolf so maybe we could push these rabbits that way and then if we had the bow of course easy wolf shot I'm just dreaming at this point you know what I mean That wolf uh, got a rabbit up there.
Poor guy. I know, man. He doesn't want to go, but he also doesn't want to hang out with me. Maybe we can both get by, little buddy. Push this guy out of here. Oh, okay, there it is. Don't go too far out there. Take it. Just take it. There we go. Yeah. Rushing my movements right now. Okay, got a free rabbit out of that. Took most of the day here. I'm not excited about traveling with the rabbit and the scent that it brings, but this could be the difference between staying well fed and losing that bonus. We'd be leaving a lot of stuff behind if we didn't have that bonus, so I do want to keep it. Sounds like a sad wolf out there. I would be too, you know, being a, being a hunter, thinking you got two meals right in front of you, possibly a third, and that one's huge, meaning me, and you only got one of them. Pretty sure I've already checked this. I did. Remember I refuse to look at like tutorials to find how to get in here. Took a long time. That door, the one behind us, it locks on your way out. You didn't know that, now you do. Maybe, maybe there's somebody out there that didn't know how to get back into the hard hydro cutter dam. This took a long time for me to figure out. I think I was more curious about like the broken fence and I was like, I wonder if you can get over there. And I thought I was discovering something new just to find out that. Sorry about that. There's uh, somebody banging right outside. I need to find food. I'm going to mute this for one second.
too heavy to carry. All right, so I'm going to try and navigate around this. Um, I don't know. Banging, hammering of some sort that's going on outside. So bear with me if I have a a moment where I hit the mute. I saw that the microphone was picking it up, but I've been surprised with this microphone is it doesn't pick up the background noise that I think it does. I know like I've had a phone call come through one time and I forgot to turn it on to vibrate. And when I went to edit it, um, to see if I could like edit out that it, it never even picked it up. Um, another time where my dog's like barking at whoever the mailman or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, uh, sorry about that. And then realized that the mic didn't even pick up the, the barking. So, uh, but I did see that, that hammering registering. So we'll, I'll see in the final cut here, if it actually made it through. Um, I am using the hyper X quadcast s and the reason i'm doing that is because i've heard of its ability to block out some of that extra like noise so we'll see how it does with like somebody who's like sounds like they're banging on my desk okay we got 15 minutes here i do want to eat this That's a good one. We can work with that. Uh, probably won't stop at the trailers tonight just because we don't have a food source. And I'm going to try to make it Winding River. Dang it. Why? I thought I had the names right, finally. But apparently not. Winding River. The ravine is uh, where we came from. When we were in Desolation Point. Luckily, we've searched all this. Just double checking. I do like to come here and harvest scrap metal. So this is a place we'll likely return to and a place that you can find many things that you missed. But this is a good place for like cloth, reclaimed wood, scrap metal. I think we just keep pushing right through here. You know what I should have done is harvested that rabbit while we were around that fire. I didn't. Another oversight, you know, so much, so much going on. That's what I love about the game, though. It forces you to be on at all times. And these little mistakes are so costly. Just like, you know, I think it's, this is like one of the, the few examples of like true survival here. That, you know, the, the mistakes like are really costly and there's some survival games I've played where, you know, you can make mistakes and be, it, it doesn't have that big of an effect.
got enough stamina to maybe make it to one of the the camping offices and not the camping offices the camping cabins fishing cabins again not sure on the exact name of those but the it's a possibility i don't like y'all know like i don't like to travel at night I, I don't think i did this safe in here either i don't like to travel at night so we'll, we'll just have to make a decision when we get outside Okay, this is towards the end. A whole lot of numbers left here. Okay, so we got 57. Fifty-seven, and it looks like about nineteen. Hmm. Actually, twenty-one. Fifty-seven, twenty-one. Fifty-seven, twenty-one, fifty-five. Roughly 55. Ooh, my torch go out. Don't know that it needs this anymore. That's awesome. Uh, maple syrup that's a win I'm happy with that I'm happy we spent the time and you know it cost us a match but that's okay I left the hacksaw take a hacksaw now that we have a food source we might stop there But we still got half our stamina here. I haven't seen the deer carcass that has been here so many times for me. Okay, so back to our... Back to our trailer. We'll see what we've got. I'm trying to think about wolf patterns here. And which way will probably be the safest. I know out on the ice. And honestly, look at that. So many of these. Fuck no. Okay, books and tools and Pry bar, heavy hammer, oh my gosh. If we can walk after this. Another hacksaw. No, we cannot walk like this. Okay. So. Hmm. So, so much of that. Um. Honestly, we're probably just going to drop the majority of these here. Probably be bring three of them with us. Then we only need one of these for now. Uh, I'll take that because I want the guts. Where we're going to forge. I will drop 88 and the 28. And I want to keep those separated. We'll drop 
these tools and these tools can be used to fix up our quality tools oh here's another one let's drop the 93 as well i'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer i know i know okay now we can walk a little bit though whoa yeah we gotta start a fire we got 250s left okay so this is going to be our base and we're going to get super light and come back and get all this stuff I'd say probably 60% of the time I play this game, there's a hunting blind back here. And in that hunting blind is a bedroll. We'll see if I get lucky here. And that mistake doesn't come back to bite us. I could take this creek into the lake and harvest the cattails but with that maple syrup i'm gonna stay left here i'm just gonna run right quickly down in the birch bark area birch bark birch tree area Let's see if we can find some birch bark yeah we got we got some I don't think we're going to have the torch to make it to the big house, the big camp office. So I think we're going to have to put fire down on the side of one of these cabins and call it a night there. We got two 50% torches left and it's still kind of a, especially being encumbered like this, we still got kind of a trek. Um, so I might... No. Our character is usually in bed by now. Hey! That's my reaction is just to say, hey. Uh, coming up over that hill, not fun. I had the, you get that little fright. You get feel all the hairs on your body stand up. This game does it to you. Jump scares in the long dark. Now, if we had an Aurora... This would be, we wouldn't be out here. We'd be sleeping in the trailer right now. Yeah, all I can think about is food. Okay. Once I get into this hunting blind, we're doing the maple syrup. Boom. Got it. Nice dog food. Too heavy to carry. Okay.
Looks like a uh, deer carcass right there. Good to know. Okay, that was a rabbit. Seen the little legs running. Okay, it sounds like the wolf is behind us. Three rabbits. This is the first time I've seen three together. Oh, I should, probably should be walking in the stream here. The creek. I'm going to head for a fishing hut to start a fire. From that fire, we're going to pull. Yep, we got some wolves out here. Are they? Okay. This is going to be tricky. No. No. Why did a damn wind picking up now? Is this a freaking Aurora? Yo, you gotta be kidding me. Torch, I saw it in my uh, peripherals. <laughs> or the uh, flare. Let's burn another match here. Yeah, I need to pull more torches, so I'm going to do the cedar firewood. Actually, gonna put this one out. We're gonna keep that. Um, 
Maybe throw a little birch bark on. What's my condition like? Not too shabby, actually. So, birch bark's renewable. Oh my gosh. Come on, give me something. That'll do. I think it's still too windy outside, so we're gonna have to... I'm sure this is gonna burn out. Okay, we got a wolf over there. I did drop the rabbit as a decoy, so we no longer have that. I wasted that birch bark tea, by the way, because it looks like um, I'm going to get cold walking into this wind, like super slow. Um, and so we'll start taking condition damage, which isn't fun. This was a painful, painful journey. I think we're going to go right into the camp office. I'm going to throw down our bedroll and we're going to call it a day. That's going to be the plan. That's where we're going to end episode 13. If we can make it. I don't think I've ever walked this slow. But we're definitely going to make another. A second. Uh, temporary storage base. Here at the camp office. Because we're. Oh maybe not. We're only at 46. It's just because we're tired. That it seems so heavy. I thought I was looking at. 50 between 50 and 55 but it looks like we're gonna make it and be okay the wind right in our face isn't helping i jeez, man you'd think this is by design like that you'd think weather would be random but of course i see a what a gang of wolves luckily i have a torch ready to go but no the wind picks up blows the torch out now we've got issues with wolves i mean what what a game oh let's throw this bad boy down like literally right in front of us right here right there we will eat some dog food. Pretty sure we'll have enough to recover that little bit of health that we lost. We'll just drink some water. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for sticking with me on this painstaking journey from Pleasant Valley all the way to the camp office here in Mystery Lake. Uh, we got a big leg of our journey out of the way. Uh, this is a small win. We've got so much to explore. All of those uh, camping huts, fishing. They're not fishing huts. What Camp buildings that are uh, on the other side of the lake. We still need to explore all those. Uh, we want to set up our base at Trapper's Cabin. We've got to get over to the Forlorn Muskeg to do some forging. Uh, we want to end our like big exploration project and broken railroad and then we'll rendezvous back at trapper's cabin that's the plan right now 
Uh, thank you guys for being here. If you like this episode or this series, please leave a like. Um, if you have any tips or tricks or, or things that you want to talk about, let's throw them down in the comment section. Let's talk about them. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel, guys. And we will see you for part 14 here on Great Bear Island with the long dark. Thanks, guys. See you next time.